Good morning, commissioners. Uh, this is a monumental day of a milestone in this project. I think I'd like to kick it off first with just a, a video. Um, if Tony has it available there to load up. And this is the uh, 3D virtual video of the building that we have designed and are ready to begin constructing should you approve moving forward. I think there's a little audio that might go with it, but perhaps not. Okay. You want to I can narrate. So this is coming in, obviously coming in from uh, east to west. Now we're swinging around the south side where the visitor parking will be. What you're viewing there on the back side is secure judges parking. One of the things we did is daylighted uh, the judges parking from below grade to above grade to keep the cost down. This is the new Sally Port and uh, supply uh, distribution area with good circulation of the Sally Port in and, in and out separate uh, exits. This is swinging back around to the south side over towards the PSB corner. And you see the kind of the ring of honor has kind of been repositioned a bit um, towards the entrance of the courthouse. It, structural mass timber, but it's, it's mostly just in this entryway. This building is predominantly concrete and steel due to the cost uh, considerations. Very big open access uh, lobby that uh, would allow flow. The, the building entrance has been offset a bit so that when you enter into the lobby, you've got full view uh, down the Beaver Creek corridor to Mount Hood and into the courtyard. Very good wayfinding, uh, easy to see where you need to be. Uh, Two-story public level so you can get up to jury assembly without uh, using elevators should you choose. You can just uh, move straight up the staircase. No longer will juries have to assemble down the street and then go out in inclement weather and walk a few blocks and queue up outside uh, waiting to get into the courthouse. This is a typical judicial corridor um, showing the courtroom chambers and the public waiting area before entering. This again is a typical trial courtroom. We've got courtrooms of various sizes based on needs and this is all part of our functional space development, working closely with OJD and the case analysis. This building complies with all OCCC, Oregon uh, Courthouse Construction Capital and Improvement Fund facility requirements, as well as county facility requirements. We put an extensive effort into developing those technical specs and then ensuring compliance with those technical specs when the proposals came in. So the natural daylighting, the positioning of courtrooms was all in very intentional to meet technical requirements that we define. This building will be LEED Gold Plus certified, common to county campus facilities. It will comply with the Oregon Green Technology with one and a half percent of the budget allocated towards green technology, which is evidenced in the solar array uh, on the rooftop, as well as a solar array uh, on top of the uh, visitor parking. Mm -hmm. 